What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to New Woodshire. Ah yeah, this is a brand new map for PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. Ooh, it is a beauty. Today we're going to do a map tour, take our first look at the map. We're also going to go through New Farmer, Farm Manager, and Start From Scratch mode, show you guys what you get and what to expect whenever you start those modes, as well as going through, we're going to show you the map layout, take a look at some cell points, some points of interest, and we're going to ride the train. That's right, we've got a train. All to come. First up, start with a little map tour. When you get started, we are going to do our map tour today in new farmer mode so you can see everything. So we start right at our house. Oh yeah, now you will see a lot of things that look very familiar to you. That's right, because this is an American map, so they've got stuff from quite a few different maps around here, some prefab stuff, but a lot of good stuff going on. Like, really, really, really nice. Let's jump in the JCB. This is going to be our, our move along for the day. Now let's pull out of here. What do we expect? Well, we've got two farms. Right now, we are on the, I believe it's pigs and cow farm. We've got all kinds of stuff around us. We'll start with a good amount of equipment for sure. Now, this map is insanely beautiful. The creators did an amazing job. I mean, just... <laughs> how do you... How do you put into words how beautiful this map is? It's difficult to. It really truly is. There is storage for all kinds of stuff. Again, this is an American map. So do keep that in mind. If you guys are looking for an American map, this is a great one to start with. Oh my goodness. All kinds of wonderful, wonderful, amazing layouts going on. So let's take a look and let's just jump out onto the road. We're going to hang a left right here. And just kind of make our way around the farm. So first things up is we've got a cell point up here. Now, of course, we're going to have to go around. Come on, get out of the way, you crazy car. We've got our first cell point up here and a line of cell points. We have the restaurant right here. Let's see. There it is. Boom. Pa -pow, pa -pow, right there. And if we go up, up the hill without crashing... <laughs> We've got some other areas up here. Now, this is where your train comes through, and this is going to be your silo for that. And rock through here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's take a look at the map. Let's zoom in. So this is a lime station and your railroad silo east. So you come through here. There's your lime right there if you guys need that for anything. And here is your silo. So just roll through, drop off what you need, and you can come and pick it up with the train. How cool is that? That is that's just so cool. I love it when we can use a train on a map like this. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. Now, unfortunately, there, there is a road to get by and, and we're gonna take it, but it is a, it's a dirt road only. Nothing wrong with that, is what it is. Let's roll through here. Here is your animal dealer right here. This section that I'm in right now. That is your animal dealer right there. So if you guys need to buy your animals, anything like that, that's where you're going to do it. We also have right here, this is your, we can pull it up, port grain elevator. This is where you are going to sell things from the train. And I don't know, see, let's roll around through. I believe that that is the only self station for train so very very cool there making our way up the hill behind it we're gonna come up to the barn up here now let's roll through here and pull through this is not the sawmill i know that this looks like the sawmill this is not the sawmill this is simply just the barn and the barn is right here so everything that you would normally sell at the barn hay straw grass silage bales all that good stuff that's going to be where you sell that. Now, rolling out of here, we are going to hang another left. Again, going clockwise around. This is going to take us in and out through the trees. 
And there's a lot of logging to be done on this map, so if you guys do enjoy logging, you've got a lot that can be done through here. Ooh, narrow bridge. Let's make sure we be careful going across here. Boom. How That's just beautiful up here. It really, really, truly is. I have nothing bad to say about this at all. I've had no problems. Uh, I did drive around a little bit just to get a basic idea of, okay, there's that, there's this, boom, boom, boom. Uh, but I have not actually driven around. This is just... <laughs> look at these trails. I mean, look at the scenery around it. The colors, the... Uh, the shadows, it's amazing what these modders could do. is crazy insane. Here we have our BGA. Let's roll through. Very nice, very easy. Now one thing that, and now Golf Cart Jockey, he said this on his live stream a little bit earlier. What we've got is in our biogas plant, so we can buy it, which is great. And it's about 227000 Stuff's expensive on this map. Do keep that in mind. There are no silage clamps. There's no bunkers. <laughs> you have to place your own. And so if you were to come through here and actually place your own, so let's see silos, and let's take a look at bunker silo large. If you wanted to place one of these down, yes, do they fit? Absolutely. They pretty much fit perfect. So you can fit a single there and your triple or your double over there. Now, what about our modded ones? Let's take the large modded one. Fits absolutely perfect. And your lighted bunker silos, you could fit one there back to back and then another one right here if you really wanted to. There's a lot of room for these in here. So there's room for it and you get to create it yourself. But that's also maybe a downside for you guys that you actually have to do it yourself. Your silos pit is on the ground. So do know that you don't have to lift up anything, get it up high, anything like that. It is on the ground. So when you're ready to sell, there you go. Boom. Very cool. Very nice. Let's check out our second farm. And if you guys played this on 17, this was your main farm. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't, you know, just cows, but here we have sheep and horses. Sheep and horses through here. Look at that. Really, really cool. I like how they've taken the uh, the stuff from base game and completely changed it up and remodeled it for what we've got here. I think that's awesome. Let's see what we can do with some buckets. Can we hit some buckets? Swish, baby. Swish. That's what I'm talking about. Well, what all do we have around here? Very interesting. Very fun very awesome Man, just, this this map is incredible it's it's really really truly is here's your sheep pasture right here looks like it fits perfect and we're gonna go down the hill to our horse paddock awesome and then we've got an, a little smaller area here just to make it look good place where you can put your vehicles it's it's just Oh my goodness, I, I did not play this map very much in Farming Simulator 17. I think I attempted a Let's Play, did not go over well, gotta be honest with you. <laughs> I did not do a very good job of it. Nonetheless, this is good. So let's roll out here, and we are going to go right. Because everything to our left, that top right hand corner of the map, Everything up there is simply just, I mean, it is what it is. It's forest and crops. That's it. Here we have, very cool place. Here is your shop. Now, where, where does your stuff go when you buy things from the shop? Well, let's find out. Let's go in here and how's about we buy, we'll get a medium tractor. Let's get... Massey 77. Let's just lease it. Where does it go? To the top. That is cool. There's a huge landing platform up here. There's two different ways to get down. At least that I've been able to see. There's one that way. Let's hop in here. And of course, you've got a way down towards the right here. So if you want to go down that way, you can. If you want to go down this way, you totally can. Or, if you want to go down over here, Again, you can. 
it's just options. What? Are, I mean, what do you want? Do you, do you want that? Do you want this? What would you like? There you go. There's that. Let's hit this, and let's return. Boom, baby. And if you want to buy, again, that's going to be right here. Come up to it, and you got what you need. Leaving out from the store, we're going to go out, and we are going to hang a left out of the store because we have quite a few sell points down here. And we've got basically a road where they're all on, which is pretty darn cool. Also, American flags all over the map. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm loving that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hang a left right here. There we go. And then we've got some cell points on our right. Also, on our left right here, you've got another basketball court, which I think is cool. Very cool. There you can get some money. If you guys need some money, right there is where you're going to do it. Now we are coming up on our first, well, I say our first cell point, one of our cell points. And let's come through here. And we're going to hang a right there and roll up into here. Here's our first one, Central Grain, right here. Bam! There you go. Now, we've got another one right up here. We also have another lime station. So, as far as I'm aware, these are the two lime stations. If you guys need lime, boom, right there you go. And then we've got another cell point right here. And... Our, well, say next to last. We've still got quite a few. Let's roll in here. And we're just going to dive straight through there. And we're stuck. Who said we're stuck? <laughs> here you go. Here is your spinnery. This is where you're going to bring all your wool and your cotton bales. That kind of thing. Nice. Nice. I like how they've used some of the buildings. Not all the buildings. A couple extra new ones in here. It's just a good looking area. Man, it's a good looking area. So let's hang a right out of here. And we are going to be heading down to the sawmill. Now sawmill, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the junction in town and hang a left. Oh, you about hit me. <laughs> let's roll through here. Looks like that's going to be the turnaround for the vehicles. We're trying to leave the large map up as much as we can. So you guys can see exactly where we are, what we're doing. We'll bring it away just for a second, though. This is a good-looking little area through here. There we go. Bring that back up. Take a left. Maplefield, Goldcrest Valley. There's your gas station right there if you guys need fuel for anything. And still rocking forward. Sawmill's going to be up here on our left. Actually, we've just missed the turn. Let's spin this back around. Here you go. This is rough road. Yeah, no kidding. Goodness gracious, they weren't lying. Again, look at the shading. Look at the shadows. Look at the detail. This right here is what I'm talking about. Absolutely, insanely beautiful. This map. I want to do something with this map. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I want to do something. Maybe a live stream series. Something. I don't know. Here is... Right here, here is your sawmill. So there are two places to sell things. You've got wood chips and wood. Over here is where you are going to sell your wood chips. I do not know if poplar bells sell here or not. We will be checking that later on. And right over here is where you sell the wood. So you're going to put your wood in here, come to that little area, and click it. And it will sell. Now, I assume most of these doors do not open uh, I haven't actually seen any doors that do open yet. Most everything I've seen has been an opened barn or open door concept. So I imagine that will be consistent throughout. Now there is one more area. And to me, this is one of the most beautiful, most just well done areas that I have seen in Farming Simulator 19 yet. I haven't really quite seen anything much like this before. Well, one more thing too as well check this out before we get to that we have a quarry down there and we've wrecked we've got a quarry yeah that's right oh and signs that we could take with us this one is mine you are not getting it back let's get rid of this thing <laughs> yeah we got a quarry down there wouldn't it be interesting if you went around can you buy this oh i wonder can we buy the quarry down at the bottom 
bottom of the map. We can buy the quarry. I'm not sure what you would do with this. But somebody's got to have an idea. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Oh, there goes the train, which we will be taking a ride on in a little while. Very cool. No train horn. Railroad crossing. Interesting. Come on. Let me through. Me and my four-wheel steering here. Authorized vehicles only. Well, we are not authorized yet. What we are authorized to do is to go check out the ranch. Now, if you have played our, uh, was it Ravenport? You know that there's a ranch there. Not a whole lot going on with it, to be honest. Here, this is a different story entirely. You've got stables up top. Down here, you've got a riding area. Not only one that riding area, you've got three. There you go. Now, I don't think you can get into the bottom one. You can probably jump it and get in there. But you got that right there. You can drive or say drive around. Here's a cell point here. Boom. Get your cell on. That's what I'm talking about. This is just something else. This is one of my favorite spots on this map. So cool. And if you got stuff that you need to load onto the train, this is where you're going to do it. Right here. This is beside field 21, just south of field 20. Bring your stuff right here. Bring your train. Load up what you need onto the train. Back off. This is a pretty high loading platform as well. Pretty excited about that. That is done very, very well. So other than that, those are your sell points and a couple points of interest. Now, let's take a look at what you get in new farmer mode. With this mode, you are going to get all of your basic stuff. So let's go in the garage. You're going to get a JCB Fast Track 4220. You're going to get a K7250 Pro. You're going to get the Bison Super Z056. You get a little Stroutman trailer. Get the header for the Bison. You get a 2.5 meter plow. Not too bad. 3 meter cultivator. 3 meter cedar. You get the... Wow, that's... Really? You get that? Okay, okay. So you can do herbicide and liquid fertilizer in the hardy right there. You've also got a solid fertilizer. You get a disc bind, which is a four meter uh, mower. You also get a Vicon Fan X604. That's going to be your tether. You get a small wind rower. You get a baler. You will also get something to do logs. So if you want to do logs, you could do logs. How cool is that? And we get an Aqua Trans and we've got a front loader with a bucket, a weight, and here's all your enclosures. You get a large pig enclosure, large horse enclosure, so 300 pigs, 16 horses, sheep pasture, which will do 80 sheep. You have a coo stall, and this is your cow pasture. So this is a custom cow pasture right here. So that's going to be only $5,000 if you sell it. And I'm going to show you what happens if you sell all that. You've also got your placeable farm silo. This is going to do quite a few things. All of your normal crops that you would expect for it to hold. Plus pig food. Plus potatoes, sugar beets, grass, hay, straw, chaff. Oh yeah, silage and TMR. What? That's going to be right over here. This guy right here. This is where you come. How freaking cool is that? That's awesome. Man, so exciting. That is so exciting. Let's go back in. And we've also got vehicle workshop. We got a farm stable and your farm house. What happens if we start deleting stuff? So we've got our pig enclosure here. Let's delete that. And it's gone. Whole thing is gone right there. What about our cows? What happens when we delete the cow pasture? Kustaw. There we go. So that has been gone as well. The entire building, everything. You've got a lot more room now. If you don't want to do animals, you have a lot more room to place stuff. So that is good. What about the farm silo? Let's get rid of that. And now that's gone. That was right here. Hmm. My question is, can you replace those? So your pig enclosure, I'm sure that you can. But uh, let's see, Kustal, 
So, looking at this, it appears that we can replace this if uh, for some reason we've messed up. So let's say we're coming through and we're like, oh, darn, messed up. I didn't mean to delete that. Boom. Place it back down. You're good to go. What about the silo? That's going to be the interesting one. There it is. Placeable farm silo. You can put that back down. Pow. Boom. There you go. Not bad. So you can put those back down. Awesome. 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 What else? What else? What else? So we've got the farmhouse. Of course, you know you can delete the farmhouse. Now the farmhouse is gone. Can we replace the farmhouse? That's going to be a question. If we can get it the right way. Um, I don't even remember where it was. There we go. <laughs> Pow. So yes, we can replace the farmhouse if we so choose. Also a new farmer, we do get some land as well. Let's see what kind of land we're starting with. So we've got this farm down here, 161,000. We also get a grass field just south of that, 104,000. We have our main farm, which includes field two. You cannot sell field two with it. It's also got two grass fields included with that as well, 261,000. And field six for 59,000. Very cool. Oh, yeah, and we get this little plot of land right here. 84 grand for this little plot of land. So really what it's starting you off with is one arable field and then a bunch of grasslands. Let's take a look. That is oats in there right now, and it is ready to be harvested, if you guys are curious. Also, in new farmer mode, it gives you the option to take out a larger loan than you normally would be able to. $820,000. Now that is directly correlating with the amount of fields that you have. And I'm going to be going into a little bit detail later on about how to increase your loan. That's going to be a separate video altogether. Nonetheless, if you guys want to start in new farmer mode, you can start in new farmer mode and get $820,000 in loan. In farm manager mode, let's take a look and see what we've got. Looks very similar but no equipment. Let's take a look. Let's go into garage. What do we get? We got the large pig enclosure, large horse paddock, sheep pasture, stall, farm silo, vehicle workshop. So we've got all of the placeables with none of the stuff. Let's take a look and see what we own. We own absolutely nothing. And you're probably wondering to yourself, how can you own nothing? And still have have those stuff. How can you own no no ground? Well, here's the thing about these areas. In order to use the animals, you need to own the area. Now, you can use them just fine. You can come in here, buy your animals. Whatever you want to do, you can do it. But you can't clean them up. And so that's going to be the big deciding factor there is you can't clean them. You can buy a couple cows all day long. There we go. We've got them. We don't own the land. I can feed them. Oh, yeah. I can not physically clean them up. So they will get dirtier and dirtier and dirtier. And there's nothing you can do about it because you can't change the ground on the land that you don't own. Do keep that in mind. However, do you want to sell all of these? Well, of course you can. Let's take these cows that we bought. Let's sell them. And let's just go in and sell this stuff. Now, yes, we do not own the land that it's on, of course, but nonetheless, we could still sell everything. Now we've sold everything and we've got an extra, gosh, about $400,000 total. A little bit extra. Very nice. Very nice. What about a loan? Let's take a look at our loan here. Now, usually, you're going to hear me tapping in the background. Usually, when you're doing this farm mode, you can only do 500000 and that is correct. So, total, you're going to be getting around uh, 18 or 1.8, 1.8 and a half million, maybe close to 1.9 if you can do it right. But there you go. There's still a lot of buildings just sitting around hanging. So, there's some stuff that you can delete, some stuff that you can't. What about start from scratch? Is it any different? Well, right off the bat, it looks exactly like Farm Manager. Let's take a look. What do we get? 
literally the exact same stuff at the exact same prices. None the matter. What about land? Do we have any land? Not likely. Okay, so pro tip. Farm manager and start from scratch give you the exact same stuff with the exception of one thing. So you can take out another $500,000 loan right here if you really wanted to get up to a million bucks or you can get 1.8 something with the exact same thing in farm manager. Or if you want to go to new farmer, max that sucker out and you have literally everything. There's so many ways to do this. How are you going to do it? Are you going to be planning on playing this map? Let me know down in the comment section below. With all of that being said, that is it for your tour of New Woodshire. Amazing map. Absolutely beautiful. There's so much to do. So many things that you can do in here. Live it the way you want to. Play it the way that you want to. It allows you to do so. And I think we've got some stuff coming up very soon, which is going to be a whole lot of fun. That being said, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not even, please subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd be happy to help you out. With that being said, I hope you have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.